We'll guide you through how to install resource or texture packs in Minecraft. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So first of all, you just want to go to the Minecraft main menu. So let me go and press on save and quit to title, because there's one thing you need to know, and that is the current version of Minecraft you're running. As you can see, I'm currently running Minecraft 1.20.2 because we need to get the same version of the texture pack as we're running Minecraft because otherwise some textures may not work correctly. Before we get any further, a big shout out to our sponsor, Apex Hosting. They're my go-to Minecraft server host. They've got so many awesome features. For example, ultra low latency. They've got 24 seven servers and support. So you can get help anytime you need it, as well as one click install mod packs and so many other awesome benefits as well. So there'll be a link down below in the pinned comment and the description. And at the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. So go and check them out. But back to the video, what you need to do is go and open up a web browser. So I just use Chrome, but you can use any and you come to a search engine. And then what we need to do is go and download a texture pack or a resource pack. So you may have one in mind or you may even have one already downloaded, which you wish to install. Personally, I have a mod pack in mind, which I want, which is called Faithful. It's quite a cool one. But if you just want to go and browse them, there are quite a few sites out there. Sites I would use is Curse Forge or Planet Minecraft. They're all pretty trusted sites. So I'm going to go and search for Faithful Minecraft Pack, just like so, and go and search for it. I'll then go to the website like this, and I'll go and click on see latest version. And I'll scroll down, and of course the release I want is 1.20.2, as that was the version I was running. You can use older texture packs, as I was saying, but they may not work very well because they're old, and they may not have all the textures. So I'm going to get 1.20.2 and the download has now gone and started. So wait for your texture pack to go and download. After it's downloaded, you can close off your browser like so, and you'll need to open up your file explorer. Go to your downloads folder on the left hand side, and then you should go and see the pack you just downloaded. And I just like to go and drag it onto my desktop just to make it slightly easier. Now, once you've gone and downloaded it, you can go and open it up. And when you open it up, it should immediately go into the files like this. If you open it up and there's another folder, then you need to move that folder out. But yeah, open up the pack and it should go immediately to the files. And then what we now need to do is go and open up Minecraft again. So let me come to the bottom and click on search and then type in Minecraft launcher. Then it will go and open up. And once again, make sure you're running the same version ideally. It doesn't have to be, but it works way better using the same version. And you can change the version by going to the left of play. Personally, I'm already using the latest release though, which is 1.20.2. So let me click play and get into this. And just like that, Minecraft has now opened up. So to go and install resource or texture packs, all you need to do is go into options, then click on resource packs and on the left here you can go and see your current packs and then on the right you can see your selected ones but first of all we need to go and install them so go and click on open pack folder and the folder will open up straight to the resource packs um, destination which is super useful and then all you need to do is go and move your texture pack into that so here it is I can just go and drag it in like so and there it is you can then close off your file explorer and as you can see, it's now gone and appeared in available. So to then go and apply it, all you need to do is go and press on the arrow here on the sort of picture of the pack like this, and then it'll move it over to selected. And what you need to do is your texture pack needs to be the top one, because if the default one is the top pack in this list, that's going to be the one that Minecraft uses. So you, and sort of prioritizes. So you want your pack to be the top one, which it prioritizes. And then you can go and press on done and Minecraft will go and reload with the texture pack. And as you can see, it looks slightly different. Of course, every pack will look different as well. So then let's go and press on done and I'll get into a game and show you what it looks like. The game has now loaded and I really do like this texture pack. It's quite subtle, but I think it's sort of, it just puts a little bit more detail into things than the usual Minecraft texture pack. For example, this pack here does look quite similar to default Minecraft, but some packs will look completely different as well. So that's it guys. I hope you found this guide useful. If you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing for more useful Minecraft guides. Have an awesome day.